Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Old World Blue starting a brand new campaign. So, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, we are playing a particular nation. A very religious, interesting nation. So, we're going to play as New Canaan, and we are going to have fun with our Battle Mormons. You heard me right, the Battle Mormons. Right now, I've installed, or I'm using... The mod compilation that has like a bunch of different mods in it that has like now Sky Reavers. It has, what was it? Of course, Arroyo, I think Klamath, maybe New Reno. I have the Vault Tech uh, City mod on it once again. The, the mod compilation also has Yakuza Territories and New Victoria and Broken Coast, but whatever. Let's get right into it. I'm going to leave off historical AI because I you never know what might happen with historical AI off. But then again, you know what? Eh, we'll do it anyways. Who needs... Who needs historical AI and Old World Blues? Hmm. So, with this playthrough, if you're watching this on November 28th, 2019, Happy Thanksgiving to all you Americans out there. And me, because I'm an American too. But, if you're not, well, hope you're having a great day. And also, I, I want to let you know... That this is before the Old World Blues update that the Mormons in general are supposed to get. This is before this the major update. Um, I wanted to play as a Mormons just because I wanted to see their focus tree right now. Which isn't very large. I mean, we can start with the Gates of New Canaan, the Army of God, the Town of Jericho, which is important. But their focus tree right now, it's okay. And I wanted to play this before the next update just to see what it was like. And then I'll come back to play this in the future whenever... The update comes out sometime, hopefully, in 2020. But we're here anyway. So, the gates of New Canaan. When we emerged from a great vault and built New Jerusalem, the outsiders, settlers, raiders, the lost sheep of the world flocked to us. When they came upon this glorious city, our gates opened to some. Awesome. So, as you can tell, I'm already getting ready to go to war with... Uh, or preparing for a potential war with a lone trees right now. In this campaign, I'm not going to use robots. I'm not going to use power armor. I'm going to focus on infantry, tanks, and maybe some APCs. That's my main goals. So this infantry division, it ain't bad. I'm going to need a lot of infantry, though. So, you know what? Mm, train as many as you really can. I, need a, I just need numbers right now so I can expand. <clears throat> oh, we have four research slots, which is great, great, great. Improvised tools, and industry planning, uh, construction of basics, and with this, I'm not using robots, I could do infantry stuff, but we need really to focus on our land auction too, but research speed, ah, it's only 66 days, go ahead and start building some, wow, the infrastructure really sucks here in Mormon land, 20%, 20% do that, because we will be expanding out more and more to get stuff, so, as usual, you're gonna need dynamite. I have to have dynamite. Um, we're gonna have more pipe guns as well. I don't think I really need support equipment. Let's see, real quick. If I want to throw on some dynamite, all it takes is demo equipment. If I want to throw on some demo battalions, all we need is demo equipment. So, lots and lots of demo equipment. Um, in time, I will build some support companies or some more support equipment to support support companies. Maybe I'll go for um, fire teams. Maybe. Definitely want some scrap motorcycles eventually, but not yet. Guns. And lots of that. That'll be good. Uh, you guys, you are regulars. Alright, not bad. And we have two dockyards. Canoe holes. Uh, I don't want to... It'd be kind of a waste of manpower to build these, but I can always destroy them later. And... I can start grinding out a little bit of naval XP. And actually, do these take any sort of cell usage? They use a little bit of cells usage, even though they're only canoe holes. Cool. Happy 2275, and happy Thanksgiving to all of us out there. Ah, oh, glorious. And I have some coffee here that's now lukewarm since I was talking on Discord for quite a while. Which I have a Discord link below if you're interested. You don't have to check me out if you don't want to, but we have stuff through the gates of New Canaan. So, New Canaan. It has been a symbol of hope in the wasteland for so long. It is here that our people found refuge in their time of crisis, and it is here that we built ourselves a new kingdom, beholden to God Almighty and the rules of human decency. Each year, they come in their hundreds, flocking to us from the wilds, the unclothed, the forgotten, the burned. 
We take in whom we can, when we can, despite the stress it places on our people. Matthew 7.12 Do to others whatever you would like them to do to you. This is the essence of all that is taught in the Law and the Prophets. Uh, let's see, do we welcome all of them? That looks pretty good. More monthly population, a little bit of stability game, which we have a lot of stability at the moment. Uh, get some water, some scrap metal. Uh, let's see, we get more stability in exchange for less resources and less monthly population. Or we get a balance of monthly population, about 10%. Lose stability, lose support support, and get a little bit of resources. Uh, give me everybody. I want I want to make babies. I am here to reproduce. The army of God, though, says, when New Jerusalem fell, it became clear to us that we would have to defend God's kingdom from the wasteland. To this end, the living prophet Jeremiah Rigdon set about building a great army for New Canaan. And to some, where New Canaan is right now, some might say it's a spooky Mormon hell dream. Oh, baby, where is that from? A little bit of trivia, and I love that musical. <clears throat> cool. Uh, so right now, my plan. I checked both Iris and the Lone Trees out, and we're like I said earlier, we're having the Battle Mormons here. We're gonna have to go to war. And resource-wise, I got seven military factories, a couple resources, of course, two dockyards, two civilian factories, two divisions, and a lot of manpower. The Lone Trees have fewer um, factories. Yeah, they actually have fewer factories. Same amount of divisions, low loss of manpower. So, the army of God, against all wishes, war has befallen the people of New Canaan time and time again, and in such times, the faithful have suffered and died. But in the times of need, we have always found or had our guardians, those willing to stand against the darkness that came to take us into the night. Guided by God, our warriors cannot fall. Jeremiah 51 20. You are my hammer and weapon of war. With you, I break nations into pieces. With you, I destroy kingdoms. Ah, uh, holy automatrons. Automatons. Hmm, that's okay. Noble savages. Four. Ah, uh, so four units. The clergy, shepherds who protect their flock in times of need. Well, we want battle Mormons. Nothing says battle Mormons like a bunch of religious infantry divisions. Let's go with that. Oh, they're very experienced. And actually, you know what? I've redecided. We're coming up this way. We're going to take out Iris first because I want that ex those extra military factories. Next up, the town of Jericho. Among the enemies of God, our living prophet Jeremiah Rigdon found the small town of Jericho that the most guilty. He reported visions from God saying that Jericho must be cleansed of sin. Mmm, that coffee's pretty good. Mormon coffee. That's a weird thing to think about. Mormon coffee. Cool. Um, you know what? Just for now, I want to make a lot of divisions. I, uh, I'm i going to do this first. Yeah, do that. Three a day. Could, can I manually justify on them? I can't invite them to the Mormon Alliance. Yeah. The town of Jericho. Can I justify on them? That would take 250 days, and we need as much political power as possible. So, Jeremiah Rigdon, the leader of the Mormons at New Canaan, often called the Living Prophet, once channeled his wrath onto the people of Jericho, a local community that dealt drugs, firearms, and sin. Sin! to the local people of Utah, feeding a cycle of violence and abuse that threatened to destabilize the entire area, of course. The wrath of Jeremiah Rigdon was so great, and he fell upon Jericho like the hammer of God in the aftermath. Romans 1, 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth. Show no mercy? Uh, that, oh, a lot of daily political power gain. I like that. Showed mercy to all who laid down their arms. A little bit more population. Get two civilian workshops and an arms workshop. We lose stability and war support, which isn't bad. But then you get three more daily political power gain. Jeremiah showed mercy to all who renounced their sinful ways. You get a little bit of population. Some military factories, stability and war support. I want that daily political power gain. That population, that stability, that war support. I have showed no mercy to these sinners. The hands of God, more army XP actually would be really useful. Because I need to change my template. Um, I want to produce more infantry equipment, actually, really quickly. Are powerful. Hmm, more soft attack. That's pretty good. The walls of New Canaan. Let's go with the Defender of Tribes. We are the Good Shepherd. It is our responsibility as children of God to defend the less developed tribes of Utah and America and help them to find God, whether they like God or not. Oh, look at that. 1.44 political power a day. Uh, let's go ahead and disable that. We have a good amount of stability. 
We definitely need more war support, but that's okay. In time, we shall have it. We shall. Hmm. Glorious. So, what I want to do first, we could do Northern Opportunities. I want to do Southern Tribes because I want to start converting some of the Southern neighbors so we get them as puppets. So, to direct south of New Canaan, there are the Crazy Horns and Tar Walker Tribes. We should send our missionaries there to convert Utah and shore up our Southern defenses. And we have a little bit of political power to use. Can I... No, I can't change out of this. A political advisor. Hmm. Less daily so pow political power gain. Oh! Training time goes down as well as more infantry equipment. I might do that right now. Oh, but you get a little bit more daily political power. With this, we could get more army XP, but I really, really need more infantry equipment right now. And mine is 15%? That's really good. Especially in the early game. Oh my goodness. Just produce, produce, and as Mormons, we're gonna reproduce. Because we get plus 15% monthly population. 12 more manpower every month. 13! Because we're making more babies. I love it. I love it. Ugh. Oh. Uh, the Southern Tribes. Um, let's see. Tar Walkers, the Crazy Horns. Well, we have a bigger border with the Tar Walkers. Let's, let's get them first. Our focus should be on the Tar Walkers. They are uniquely positioned on our borders and could be a valuable ally if converted. And next, following that, we'll do Northern Opportunities. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And that gives us time to produce tons and tons of infantry equipment and start getting more and more demo equipment as well. This Holy Clergy. Oh, my goodness. They're already veterans. That's beautiful. Hmm. Gotta love that coffee. Just We just gotta make sure that we have enough divisions to cover the entire front line against Iris when we go to war with them. They only have two divisions, though. Can I justify on them? That takes 250 days. Well, within 250 days, will I be at war with them? So that takes seven. Plus... Ooh, the sword and the cross. Northern missionaries. All religions under God. I can be peaceful. The apostle of Lone Tree... Lone Tree Industrial Support, which isn't bad, not great, but not bad. The Heretics of Murtaugh sounds like fun. And the Luck of the Irish. Ooh, I like that. But we do Sword on the Cross. Bring the Catholics to heal. M know my name is the Lord. Kneeling before the cross. The Bloody ver Verdict of Murtaugh. Huh. Convert and Puppet. I mean, eventually you can core divisions, or divisions tiles in the end if you have enough political power and that's probably what we're going to do but I did want to do the battle Mormon so we're going to go with the sword and the cross. If I ever play this again or whenever the mods update this I might just be a more peaceful Mormon guy but we'll see what happens Ah, uh, 1.44 political power update. that's so good but oh I forgot why I was looking at this so that's 7 days, 14 days if I want to go to war with Iris that's 6, 74 days so I don't want to waste my political power doing that. We need all the political power we can get so we can convert the tall walkers uh, these northerners must be told and taught a lesson that there is only one true Mormon god. Uh, hopefully in time we will get the all-American prophet. The all-American the all-American prophet named the burned man, Joshua Graham. Oh wait, I didn't even I played this just a tiny bit before I um did started recording this actually last night. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I still don't like debuffs. Production, efficiency, growth. I'll still go as work as needed. Right, that's right. Mormons only work as needed in Old World Blues. And organized agriculture, of course. But, let me see. Let's take a quick look down here. So, the Prodigal Son returns. So, we can do the Burn Man. In which, recovery rate, just by War Ghost Times. Focus on offense. Or, the Blessed are the Merciful. Well, Armories of God. That sounds like fun. The Righteous Arms. That's okay. I don't really use conversion speed. Infantry, ready for the Legion. More population and division attack. I like the extra attack. But how about with the Merciful? Medical technology, Missionary Alliance, High Chapel, well, they're not really that bad. The Ag Agarian Idel. Oh, that's not bad. Civilian factory construction speed. Missionary of God. I think I'll go with late, the ready for the Legion one. The Kingdom of God, Form Deseret. That's the thing that I really want to do. Form Deseret. I have to do that. I have to do that, man. Diligence, theological study, lessons from scripture. We get a research slot from reading scripture. God, I'd read scripture every day then. Plus 25% more monthly population from pilgrimage of the faithful, knights of God, more infantry breakthrough, bounty of God, bastion of faith. Uh, 
I'll be honest, I was really looking forward to playing this one. I mean, I look forward to playing every campaign, but really the Mormons, they sound like a lot of fun. Oh, we have a, we have a destroyer. Nice. Oh, nice. We did this. Next up is the Northern Opportunities to the North. Our traders and missionaries have established contact with three dominant tribes of the area, the Iris, the Lone Tree, and the tribe of Murtaugh. What will we do with them? Well, you're not going to like what we're going to do to them. Hello? Allison Robertson. Wow, great. You're an old guard. Oh, could have been worse, I guess. Could have had to be eight. Oh, look at that. That's looking... This stockpile is looking pretty good now. Now that we have two divisions coming out soon, I might just throw a third one out, maybe? No? We still need 76 stuff there. Cool. Let's go with the sword and the cross. We must put these primitive tribes to the sword and the cross to defend them from themselves. It is our duty to God to convert these heathens. Damn straight. Oh, I forgot to do this. Um, I could bind the tar walkers to us, but we're going to do conversion missions to the tar walkers. And I did, I do want to say this. It's really actually kind of cool that if you notice, I've seen that icon before. What game is that from? This state can be converted to the true faith. That's right. The one, the true all American faith. Oh, so much fun. Right now, I will want to go to war with those guys. I could spend a little bit of X uh not XP, but political power. The Lord's teacher, the god God's warrior, Mormon tribal. Industry just I overall, I guess in Old World Blues, I would say I would like a little bit more change as to research and production, because it's all the same, pretty much, pretty much for all factions, which is a little bit disappointing, but, you know, whatever. Um, Justify War Goals times would be good. Oh, yeah, we'll get we'll get him. Abraham Horus. I think for now, I'm going to go with Rand, Burnside, Conventional Warfare Research Time, and Daily Army XP Gain. Let's go ahead and do... Bring the Catholics to heal, the Irish worship of a false god, though close to ours. They are remnants of an ancient splinter faith called... Catholicism. It is our duty. It is our duty to show them the true, true faith, and we will have a total of eight divisions, which will be very, very important because they only have three, and actually, they only have two. It would take us too long to go to war with them. So here's the plan: we'll take, we'll bring the Catholics to heal, kill these guys off as fast as possible, convert them to the true faith, and then maybe attack Lone Tree as fast as possible. That's really my plan. Murtaugh, we'll, we'll focus on Murtaugh as well. Are we still mobilizing? We're still mobilizing a little bit. 6%, we need to get at least 8%, or, yeah, 8% total for population. We got organized agriculture, that's awesome. Let's get a little bit of seed selection, but before we do that, now my goal was to maybe go with an asymmetrical warfare, because that sounds like fun, but we also have conventional warfare. We have a bonus to research for this stuff. Entrenchment speed, max entrenchment, planning speed, max planning, I mean. Defense, organization, breakthrough plus 10%. So we got 10% breakthrough on this tree. The mechanized side, 10%, uh, more supply use. I don't like that. Speed, tank breakthrough, and armor. That's okay. Um, X, even more. Uh, uh, mechanized warfare is okay. Trooper warfare, more defense for it. Like leg infantry, which is good. Heart attack, less supply use. Better recovery rate for leg infantry. Less organization for more population, more recon, which is nice, and stuff like that. So overall, in the conventional warfare, you get 10% breakthrough. But what if I did asymmetrical warfare instead? Because I'm thinking I might do this. Supply grace, that's okay. Soft attack and more max entrenchment. Wasteland tactics give you uh, special forces is okay. I'm not really focused on special forces. It give you a little bit more infantry recovery rate, more rec reconnaissance, less infantry combat width. 5% army breakthrough. Uh, that's okay. So we get a total of 10% breakthrough for our leg infantry if we take this and go down the wasteland tactics. But what if we go with ancient tactics? Because you get plus 5% soft attack, another 5% soft attack, and less supply use. You get a little bit less recruitable population, which is fine. You get more soft attack. 3% more breakthrough. So you get 3%. Um, 3% breakthrough, 13% breakthrough, which is pretty good in my opinion, and you get to use more another infantry battalion in your divisions, 
So 13% breakthrough and a little bit more soft attack, or should I go with asymmetrical warfare, which you get more defense, hard attack, supply use. Uh, you do get more population. In time, we might need that population. I guess for this playthrough, we'll go with conventional warfare. Usually, you do asymmetrical warfare if you're playing as a raider nation, which I might play as next. I don't know. Sorry, that took a while. I wasn't really sure. I did try out asymmetrical warfare before, but it's actually been quite a long time since I chose conventional warfare as a land doctrine. It's been actually quite a while. Uh, obviously, we need more guns or infantry equipment. And we have a little bit of naval XP. Because last time in the my Iron Alliance playthrough, I forgot to make a few ships to grind out naval XP before it was pretty much just extreme late game, so... It's always good to remember to do that. You guys, go ahead and throw you on there. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and split off if you need to. Totally cool with me. If we need this, you guys come up here. Actually, Iris, you have a ship as well. We have one more division. Honestly, with these guys, if we can go to war with them very soon, we should be able to win pretty, pretty easily. Seed selection is next. Continue to bind the... Tarwalkers to us or convert their uh, the, their heretic ways. Ah, oh, beautiful. And obviously we don't have a lot of factories, but that's okay. Four infantry equipment a day. And I'm stockpiling all that demo equipment for a little bit later on, since I can't really change too much at the moment. Oh, bring the Catholics to heal. That'll be fun. And then when we take these guys out, it should be not too bad either. So we need about 340, 330-ish equipment, which is fine. The Vipers were annexed. Is anyone else on fire right now? Actually, before we go to war, uh, make sure... Let's stop training them. We might actually end up in a naval battle against Iris. Yeah, go ahead and heal up. Uh, you got a little bit of XP. What is the design on these terrible canoes? Pathetic. Oh, so bad. So bad. But, honestly, Iris probably won't have very good stats either, so that's okay with me. We already have 12 naval XP, and destroyers are extremely easy to make. We'll do a patrol force here. That'll be good. Speed time up as fast as possible. We don't have enough divisions for the entire border, but something tells me if I'm smart about this, I can encircle and destroy enemy divisions and have a good time. Regardless, uh, yes, conversion missions. Convert those heretics. M know my name is the Lord. The Lone Tree Tribe must be saved from their pagan ways. We anticipate an easy subjugation. And after this, we will have many more flocking to God's banner. As well as a river border. Ah, I love the river borders. Cool, you guys are busy doing stuff. We have quite a few divisions. They have up to five. So they have more than I thought. But the Lord demands subjugation. And who are we to put to... Step in front of the Lord and tell him no. And we have Frank. Who's going to lead us? Alright. Eye to home. You guys do that. I want you to try to split these guys off. Hold on the right side there. Hold on the right side. We might get encircled. That's why I'm sending two this way. And once they start moving, I'm going to start attacking. I want you to come up that way, then that way, then that way. That'll be good. You guys are not moving at all, which is good. Two, three. I want you guys to come up that way. I want you guys to come up that way. We'll try to encircle this motorized division as well. Good. And go ahead and help them out here. Actually, if you could get Idaho fo foes, Idaho Falls, they might just capitulate. So, nice. But you're doing a great job. Oh. Come down that way, guys. They have one, two, three, four. They have another division maybe somewhere. I'm not sure. we got to be a little bit careful. Let's go ahead and crush this motorized division. So does Springs. Make sure they can't do anything about that. Awesome. I'm going to let this division go up north so they, they don't have a port. Actually, go ahead and start convoy raiding if possible. Hey, you might find some convoys around here. I want to take that port really badly, though. Iron Alliance declared war on the Withered Dogs. That's good. No division up there. Idaho Falls. We have five army XP. Good. We're going to wait till this division dies. A cause was annexed. We have 
Idaho Falls. That was not enough to kill them off. God dang it. Um, oh, that's not good. Come down that way, and you guys come up this way, and then turn around. That'd be okay. Oh, if we could get Soda Springs, that actually would have helped a little bit. Actually, come that way. That's good. Kill that division off. Kill that division off. Kill this division off. I'm all about that encirclement, man. Ooh. Make sure they cannot do that. Now, go ahead and stop them. All of our divisions are doing pretty well. They took back their capital, but whatever. That's okay. As long as we destroy their divisions, that's the key thing here. Attacking us. They're taking back their territory, which is fine with me. We got a little bit of wood woodworking. We've got a little bit of working as needed. Pause it, the game real quick. Resources. We're doing well in resources. We don't need very much at the moment. Support companies can't do anything about that at the moment. Planes will be very important in time. Infantry equipment. Actually, instead of infantry, let's start doing some... Salvage motorcycles. Let's start focusing maybe on getting tanks in time. Or, at the very least, APCs. And that takes 150 days. Eh, that might be a little bit too long. Let's go back to engineering. Reinforce rate. Cool. And a division was destroyed. We've lost 8 against our 145, which is great. Move down that way. Uh, I actually should have moved you that way. Send one guy over here to kill this division off. Oh, that's not good. Actually, instead of that, you come down here. Oh, another division was destroyed. Take Soda Springs and come back. We still have Idaho Falls. Okay. Don't get encircled. Please, for the love of God, do not get encircled. Um, go ahead and help crush them there. Go ahead and crush them there. There you go. Not too bad. Pretty easy. Cool. We have eight divisions. Obviously, nowhere near the number necessary for what we currently need. But that's okay. Um, go ahead and train. Train for the Lord our God. And how many divisions does the Lone Trees have? Up to eight. So this one actually might be a little bit more difficult. We're going to begin a scavenging program as well. Uh, now you'll be placed over here. We might need to wait just a little bit to produce a few more divisions. Maybe. But... I'm going to go ahead with the Disciples of God, throw on a demo company so they attack a little bit more strongly. Now we have a deficit of that, which actually might not have been a good idea, but whatever. Um, go ahead and repair the military factories, the civilian factories first, because I really could really use those. Oh, we only have four. That sucks. But that's okay. Things happen. Minus 67. I want my guys to hit as hard as possible. But that's looking pretty nice. We've already expanded. Took out one enemy nation. Beautiful. Truly beautiful. Oh, I should have saved it up to go to war economy. No, my name is the Lord. Not bad. Doing pretty well in this. Demo equipment. Uh, you know what? I'll do that. Yeah, do that. So at least we're still producing some dynamite right now that we're trying to put on our infantry currently. Because we're still trying to produce more units. Now, obviously, that's not really good. But in time, it'll be okay. Nice. A little bit more political power. What are we going to do with that? I'd like to go to early mobilization, but I'll save some of my political power to go to war. When we go to war with a lone tree. Seed selection. Very nice. Forced conversion. More? Do I need more core population right now? Probably not. So let's go with the Hand of God. The Hands of God are our principal defense force and army. Formed by the, our living prophet Jeremiah Rigdon, they are an elite force compared to many wasteland militias armed by our superior tech and faith in God. And you know what? I almost forgot. Army Group 1. The Lord's Fury. That He leads the Lord's Fury. Uh, and we're going to call these guys the Army of Christ. Oh, oh, plus, 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 plus. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, crud, research. I missed a day. That's all right. Uh, engineering, that's 109 days. That's a little bit long. Still a little bit ahead of time. Empty tank. All these are a little bit ahead of time, it appears. Which I don't like. 
Oh, uh, I guess we'll do division training down since we don't get a penalty to that. We have quite a while, pretty much until the end of the game, until we can do that. Do that real quick. Our divisions, all they need is really just some more demo equipment. Um, go ahead and do that first. Don't do reinforcements just because I want as many divisions as possible as fast as possible. Soon enough we'll have enough guns, which means... Do that. Yeah, do that. That Actually, that probably works out a little bit better for right now. Four weeks... We have a small stockpile of firearms. There you go. That actually makes it out a little bit better. A little bit faster so that we can get some more demo uh, companies out. There you go. We really need, only need 37 demo equipment. 36, 35, 34. Almost, we make about one a day, which isn't bad. Concerning the Lone Tree, though, they have up to nine divisions. Not bad. Twisted Hairs was annexed. Oh, another division. Now we have nine. I want to make sure that we at least cover our entire front first. That is the most important thing to do. And my goodness, we got quite a bit of naval XP already. I love it. Good. Infantry equipment will be easy to produce. Demo equipment will be probably the most difficult to make. Let's get some decryption to start with. Good. Not bad. Alright, Desert Rangers declare war. The Shi declare war on Broken Coast. That's, that's really early. Holy cow. Oh, looks like we have another division produced. Number 10. So do we have any other holes? we got one hole right here in the line. And we've got quite a few more Veil Bandits joining Phantasma Cartel. Alright, not bad. I could really use more divisions. Really, really, really could use them more. Go ahead and come up here since we're waiting for this one to be, to be produced. I'm not going to add anything else onto these divisions for now. Having a demo support company really does help. So we need one two, three minimum divisions before we can do too much else. Go ahead and do that. And I want to produce as many divisions as possible. Oh, NCR declared War on the Veil Bandits, and we've got to keep doing a conversion mission to the Tar Walkers because I, you can eventually get them as a puppet, as well as the Crazy Horns and all these people in the South. The Northerners, we got to get rid of. Okay. But Southerners, we can convert them. So, we could do the hands of God are plentiful, or the hands of God are powerful. We produce less, but they have more soft attack and reliability, or we can produce more and have more breakthrough. I like that breakthrough. The Blades of Christ, the Guns of Christ. Well, they're basically the same thing. Um, the less reliability doesn't really mean too much to me. If you can produce more, reliability doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, I can get more soft attack and reliability, but... I want more breakthrough. So, our strength is in numbers. We can produce many weapons at a faster rate in order to equip more soldiers. They may be less effective as a result, however, and that's okay. God said, that's okay. Alright, and then... Conversion mission, thank you. We have about another 80 or so. Conventional warfare, good. More entrenchment speed, more max entrenchment. Let's get some more max planning next. Followed up with... Planes. Those are coming along. Uh, 102 days. Let's get even more research speed. I want to be very speedy when it, when it comes to our research. Right now. Reinforcements. What do we need for reinforcements? We need 19 demo equipment. Over here we need that. Go ahead and flesh out the rest of our divisions that are currently in the field. That would be very, very important. Muy importante. Roll out technology to scavengers for more research speed. Absolutely. Abso-frickin-lutely. Mm. I want to save it for this, but we do get a lot of political power at one time. So, uh, daily political power gain. That's not bad. I'll do that. Yeah, let's get up. 1.54 daily political power gain. I think that's worth it. I think that's really worth it. Uh, do we have extra ship? Oh, we have an extra two ships. Beautiful. Obviously, I'm not going to be focusing on the Navy that much in this campaign, but that's okay. Motorized Division, that looks nice, but I want APCs. Definitely want APCs. Um, so we've got 38 days here. 36 days here. Oh! Ooh. 11 Divisions. They have up to 11 Divisions as well, and the guy falls ill. 
some manpower. We got some manpower. We got a couple factories. They had elders. Wow. Oh, they actually have a bonus to their defense on their core territory. All right, interesting. But we do have gliders. Motorized flight looks pretty good. And give me one more infantry division first. I want one more. Because we're missing at least one hole here. And one up here. Okay, maybe I need two more divisions. Which really kind of sucks, but whatever. Three on there as well. Alright, how's the world look? The NCR is doing a great job in Baja, California. Other than that, the Iron Lion is still trying to kill off the Withered Dogs. I'm, when I did Mon, I think I killed off the Scorpion Bites first. And Kaiser is going after the Hang Dogs. Alright, well, to each their own, I suppose. 20 factories, not bad, not bad. 11 days, 11 days. Oh, we got plenty enough of this now. Hang... That's not a smart idea when Kaiser's coming and knocking on you guys. Not very smart. Four dockyards, dang. That's a lot. We need more guns now, so go ahead and do that. Switch on down. We can produce less demo equipment since that's not as important. But I will make some demo uh, battalions on the divisions we already have. And now we have guns that are plentiful. Oh, more breakthrough. And the Blades of Christ. Oh, force conversion. Let's go ahead and do the Crazy Horns at the same time. We should send missionaries to the Crazy Horns to help them and convert them to the true light, of course. Of course we shall. Oh, we got enough political power, but come on, pop out a few more divisions for me. We make about how many infantry equipment a day? Not bad, not bad. Militia training, pretty good. They have up to 10 divisions, which is nice for them. It is almost 2276. Industry. Go ahead and get some m more local workspaces. Conversion, thank you. Can't do anything here because we don't have enough pipe guns or scrap motorcycles. Focus on the internal sphere. I don't want to lose war support. That's a bad idea. Come on, guys. Produce. Ah, we got one more division. Nice. Very good. We need just one more. One more. One more. Uh, reinforcements should be done now. Yeah. And we're waiting for this last division before we go to war with... The Lone Trees. So what do they need? They need a little bit more infantry equipment. That's all they need. That's all they need. Come on, produce more, 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 more. Troll War and Declare War on the Marrow Drinkers. Alright, not bad. Oh, don't stall out, don't stall out here. Why is everyone else going up then? That makes no sense. Oh my goodness. Find them. Find her, I hardly know her. Oh, the Moment Alliance. And then again, they don't have all of their holes filled as well. Uh, the faster we go to war, the better, really. Throw these guys on here. Just give me one more division. You know, I'm, I'm not going to wait any longer. Just give me all the divisions you got. Flesh them out. Get to where you need. Get some planning started. And then... Uh, do the secret language. Get up to the top, wherever you need to go. And... We're good to go. Cool. So let's go ahead and exploit the line if we can. There's a hole there. Actually, you know what? I'm going to not attack that direction. I'm going to go up here, actually. You guys come down here. This division is going to move around down south. You move here. You move here. We're going to try to encircle Jackson. That's what we'll try to do. Oh, and we're at war. So, partial mobilization sounds pretty good to me. Find the tar walkers to us in time, my friends, in time. Cool. If you could just get over there and not get encircled at the same time, I'd be really happy. Gecko declared war on the Cyclops tribes. Who's Gecko? Five. Who are you? I've never seen you. Festus. The cult. Cole the flock. Uh, okay. I have you doing what you need to do. Infantry is moving around. Come on. No one seems to be moving. Alright, up, oh, and we have movers. No, do not let them move. Whatever happens, do not let them move. We must encircle these areas. Randolph, you'll probably deploy up there. Let him just hold the line. That's all you need to do is hold the line. And if anyone starts moving, well, we can kill them. 
kind of winning down here. The Crazy Horn's very good. Next up will be the Blades of Christ. Our blades are lent to Christ. Melee weapons are the focus of our army, and we can research greater weapons as a result. Let us go ahead and convert some of those Crazy Horns to our faith. The best faith. The most optimal faith. Cool. As these guys... Awesome. Now, go ahead and take the areas that are resource areas. Resource rich. I want you to come down here as well. Uh, you might get encircled. You're getting attacked. But that's all the time for that we have today, my friends. Uh, we have done a great job. We've already taken out Iris. We are going to kill off the Lone Tree in the next episode. And we are expanding and making Mormonism great again. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Check out my Discord link below. Subscribe if you're new. And if you're watching this on Thanksgiving Day, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you all have a great, great day.